across, you did it right in. You just did it like this. Yeah. Okay. Well, I did one step, but it has to be smooth. Better. Half pulsing. Hands together. No, you don't have to cross. Half pulse as you can. There we go. The curl. Don't try. That half pulsing left. Supporting right. Yeah. Now she's waiting. Now you're overdoing it. Feel it? That's it. But it's not that, it's not terrible that you're overdoing it. That's better. Now you're finding the gray place between the black and white. Feel it? Yeah. Yeah. And now you trot her on. Soft inside leg. Touch, touch. Yeah. And go. Okay. Okay. Short right Circle. That's okay. And think about the leg yield balance on the circle that you made on the other day on Friday. Mm -hmm. And forward, not too small. The tendency we have when we have a clockwork before the curve is to try to get slowly before the foot of the brake because it runs away from us so easily. <laughs> on the left. Half holding. Good. Control the trot. Good girl. There you go. She came back right away and then you just that step. It's about the soft balance. Bend your right knee. Better and feel it. Yes. And you're going off across the diagonal. We're not centering yet. Went across the diagonal. Cross the diagonal circle at the other end. Keep your right rein on. Yep. Bend your knees. big circle. Don't go down the wall. Either you ride it diagonal into a circle. Not diagonal straight down the wall, find a circle somewhere. Oh. Remember, how, remember how you did it on Friday? Uh. You did a circle straight across the diagonal into a circle. Okay. Um. So right out of the circle. Don't ride the diagonal from the corner letter. Ride it right from where the circle finishes on this upcoming wall. Okay, you want me to circle here and up, up with that? And, and across this okay. side, exactly what we did on Friday. Okay. Yeah, and then you flow into this circle. So it's not suddenly we're straight, then we're on a diagonal, then we're on a circle. It flows from one to the other. Yes. Thank you, posting. Think about keeping your right connection. Yeah. Don't push too much, just a little for the balance. And your outside half I'll say softly, but you can't run away when I push it that way. No. <laughs> We're just getting the pattern figured out. <laughs> and so, remember what we did on Freddy? We built the pattern until you had relaxation and balance on the circle. Oh, okay. yeah. And then we went to the counter. So it's not suddenly different. Okay. That's it. Now you're starting to organize her properly. So should I go across the yeah. diagonal? You do the same thing and you don't let her run away on the diagonal. That's right. Good. Because until you can ride the pattern with balance and comfort, we don't add the next piece. That's it. And you're pushing her softly from your inside leg to your tiny little outside half bolts on the circles. That's it. Now you're starting to find the balance again, yeah? Yes. Yeah. You have to wait until you have that balance comfortably on both sides. That's right. And can you feel her now starting to recognize the yes. pattern? I feel her. Yeah. So, because now it's, okay, this is familiar and I know what to do. What you started with was completely unfamiliar. <laughs> Really important to stick with a pattern that works for her. Okay, and then your outside brain says, no, oh, not take that forward. And she answers it, and you immediately soften it in your fist again. Yes, Anne. That's right. Change, change your posting. Really have to pay attention to that on the right with her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now you're getting better at managing those little surges. You make tiny corrections. 
right onto a circle. Yeah. That's nice. Feel it? Yep. yep. Do that whole circle and then you come back across. Give her time to relax into the familiar pattern. Very important for horses like her to feel successful. And like, okay, I know what I need to do instead of, oh my God, what if I don't know? <laughs> that little left castle, tiny one. Perfectly, yeah. Feel how small they need to be? Ah, now you're riding them with finesse down and your hands are staying in the right place. Can you feel how much steadier she was? Mm -hmm. You don't give your hand. Well, and what she did was try to fall in the forehand, and you didn't give your hand, which was the good thing. Your hand stays exactly in the same place. And you didn't fix it for her. You just said, no, I'm still here. And she went, oh, well, I have to change that. <laughs> exactly. She needs to change. Now we're getting there. Little teeny right half hole. As soon as you change your posting, your half halts change. Good. Now we're getting a more fluent and elastic trot. Up. Your knees bent. And if the reins get too long, then your hands get unstable because they're too close to you. That's okay. Good. Good. That's it. Now you can feel her balance coming more back towards the hind leg. Yeah. That's it. Little thingy. Don't say them on. That's right. Yeah. And she's saying, but sooner or later you're going to ask me to canter. Now you're going to ask her. Yeah. Now think about your little soft top pulse and your soft side leg. No, remember what we did on Friday. <laughs> as long as she's in balance, you can continue the canter. When she starts to tip and run, you come back to the trot. Good, control the trot. Very good. Let you change. Yeah, but you shouldn't. Okay. You have to think a little ahead of that. You've got the trot, you have the balance, you have to go on the diagonal again. You can't just wait for everything to be perfect. That's it. That's it. Now you're thinking about the balance on this side. And you're waiting. And you're waiting. And you're waiting. That. You're waiting, and now you can think it. Good. Right elbow back, soft left leg, middle left, right half halt. Get your right hand lower, right elbow lower. Push them both back. That's better, and feel it. Okay, now you find the trot, find it, stay in it. Control it. Good. Feel how much more quickly she came back? Yep. Good. And now you can ride to the counter because she's there. Just ride it softly. Yes. Good girl. And rode that really well. You took several steps. Did you feel it? Yes. yes. Support her softly on the right. Little tiny half pulse on the left. That's right. Force on the right, don't lift it so much. That's it. Feel her start to find the place. Control it. Good. Good. She's beginning to figure out how not to run when she hits the trot. Yeah. Now your diagonal is getting shorter and shorter. Are you aware of it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want it to be a bendy line. You don't have to go all the way to the end, but you need to think about what's reasonable geometry. That's it. Wait on the right. Yes, now you have the balance. Feel it? 
Sit up and quietly ask. Very good, Em. Weight on the right a little, right elbow low. Up. That's it, right elbow low and back. That's right. That's it, and give a little left. Give a little left. Give a little left, over and over, tiny little gives on the left. Keep the right elbow back. Better. Now you find the trot. Cause now, and control it. Yes. Change the rein again. She's figuring out how to slow down. And she's figuring out what her leads are. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. Can you feel your trot starting to get more through? Yeah. 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 Very nice. Very nice. Really quietly somewhere you roll her up and it should take several strides. Don't give very good M. Support on the right. Little tiny half halt on the left. Mean one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feel it? She start found. There we go. Good girl. Very good, MB. What a good girl, MB. That's it. Now you can. That's it. And you change the rain again. It's going to happen faster like this on one side than the other. But now she's starting to grasp that she can balance herself back onto her hindquarter. And you got really good with your hands in this canter circle. You supported in the right way and in the right place, and you got soft in the right way and in the right place. And you allowed her to find it. Think a little more leg yield on this circle. Toward a soft lead. Just a little more to your right ring before you go to the counter. Yes, yeah, that's better balance. Feel it? Yeah, then you can go to the counter. Yeah, feel the difference in your transition? Yeah, now you try to create the same feeling within the canter, and it's just a hint of right of left leg. And your right half halt stays there gently, and you breathe in the left rein. Even though she feels, that's it, in. Even though she feels like she's leaning in, you open your left hand every other stride. Don't pull on it, you just open it. Control it. Control it. Good. Feel her. Good. Make the balance again on that circle. Stay on it. I want you to have the feeling that she is bulging to the outside against your right hand. Take your time. You don't take the aid away because she says, oh, it's hard because it is hard. Yeah, right at the girth. Yeah, that's it. Remember I said think the leg yield feeling? You don't really ride it. You think that balance change through the shoulders from your inside leg at the girth to the outside half hole. That's right. Your right shoulder stays down. That's okay. Yes, there's your balance. Feel it? There to give your left fingers for a step. And again. Yeah, that's right. Feel her starting to find the better balance? Yes. That's the feeling you want to have in the left canter, is what you have now. Yeah, well you have to work towards it, but now you have it in the trot, so you quietly go into the canter, giving your left fingers as you go. Good, much better departure. That's it. Think about supporting her in the right rein and elbow, back and down with it. Give left rein. There, feel her start to feel less defensive. Keep giving that left rein. Keep your right hand where it is. That, control it. Very good. Every time she's coming back with more relaxation and more steadiness. Build the balance again, softly. Take your time. Uh, just push release with your inside leg. Your little outside half halt quietly captures it. Your left hand is light. Yeah. Feel how important it is to stay light on that hand? 
and it's hard in the counter because she wants to hit that hand and lean on it. Yep. Great. Have that feeling that she's pushing against your right brain. Mm -hmm. The feeling that she's pushing there. And that means even as you come to the wall, you have to still ask her to gently step into your right hand from your left leg. We instinctively, can, when we hit the wall, we quit riding those aids. We let the wall do the work. And the problem is then the horse falls apart. Right, right elbow a little lower. Yes. Feel her get a little better in the balance when you did that? Yeah, that's the way I want you to go the next time in the counter. We're only going to do it one more time. Now we're getting very nice trot. Keep that right elbow low. Yeah. Push it down towards her right off the elbow. Yeah. Not into your side. There we are. That's it, in. Great. From that you can counter. Yes. Better. Keep that right elbow going towards, yes. Keep it coming towards her hock. Not your side, her hock. Yes. Feel it? Better. Keep that elbow going towards the hock and giving the left finger. Can I control it? Right elbow? Yes, Sam. Did you feel how she was falling in and pushing your elbow there and got her back in the balance? Okay. And walk and bring her here. Because now you're getting where you need to be in the counter. It's that same feeling of the right elbow is anchored over here, yeah. not here. Okay. Because yeah. here, everything's falling still to yeah. the left. Yeah. But when you take your elbow there, yeah. now I'm staying in the middle of the heart and there's a support over on this side that she can start to connect to. I got that. Yeah, no, no, I gotta remember that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, uh, yeah, I can really feel that. And, uh, it's amazing how an elbow can make a difference. And now you're starting to be able to ride a counter yeah. transition. Yeah. Not hope. <laughs> Actually ride one. Yeah. yeah. yeah and now she's coming back and saying, oh, I can slow down. Instead of, you know, yeah. the way it used yeah. to be just climbing yeah. into the dirt. Yeah. 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 So you stay on this very simple pattern. Yeah. And you're still riding lots of counter. Yeah. And eventually she says, hmm, this is all I have to do. I can settle back. Yeah. It's fine. And when that happens, then we go a little down the wall and we do it again. Uh, okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah.